Turkey is facing a dire economic crisis, and the situation is getting worse day by day. With inflation rates soaring to almost 80% annually in June and hitting a 20-year high of over 80% in August, the country's future is looking bleak. It's clear that Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, and his administration are largely to blame for this disaster, having failed to deliver on their promises of economic reform and growth. The crisis has the potential to become a global conflict, dragging the U.S. and other countries into chaos. We can't afford to turn a blind eye to this situation, especially considering the impact it could have on the global economy. Turkey is a land of immense economic opportunities where the emerging economy is booming at an unprecedented rate. With a remarkable growth rate of 9%, Turkey's gross domestic product has exceeded expectations, even amidst these times of economic uncertainty. This places Turkey second only to China in terms of growth. As a testament to this impressive economic performance, new skyscrapers are being erected and plans are underway for a third bridge across Bosphorus. The country's potential for economic development is truly remarkable, making it an attractive destination for investors seeking lucrative opportunities. In 2018, Bloomberg hailed it as one of the most attractive emerging economies with a promising future. However, today, the country is struggling to keep a lid on its inflation rate, which has officially skyrocketed to as high as 58%. Unofficial reports suggest it's over twice as high, leaving citizens in a state of distress. The currency has also taken a significant downturn, leaving Turkey's economy a mere shadow of its former self. But it doesn't have to be this way. Now to make matters worse, the devastating earthquake of 7.8 magnitudes that struck Turkey and Syria on February 6, 2023 has left a death toll of over 21,000, and many more are still trapped under the rubble. With every passing hour, the situation is becoming more critical, and rescue teams are working tirelessly to find survivors. However, time is running out, and many more people desperately need access to basic necessities such as water, food, medicine, and shelter. The earthquake has caused widespread destruction, and the affected communities urgently need our help. This earthquake is the worst that Turkey has experienced in modern history, and it has affected countless lives. Now, let's talk about the thing that really affects the average person, money. In 2018, Turkey's currency, the Turkish lira, was pegged at around 3.7 to the US dollar. Everyone was singing Turkey's praises. However, fast forward to today, and the situation has drastically changed. The Turkish lira has plummeted in value, causing hyperinflation and financial turmoil. As a result, the cost of living has skyrocketed for the average person, leaving many struggling to make ends meet. This dire economic situation calls for immediate action and a bold plan to restore stability and prosperity to Turkey's economy. With the upcoming elections, there is an opportunity to elect leaders who will prioritize the country's economic well-being and implement effective policies to turn things around. The current state of the Turkish lira is nothing short of alarming. In just 12 months, the currency has plummeted from a peg of 8 to almost 19 against the US dollar. This rapid downfall is indicative of a burning fire that is spiraling out of control. The impact of this economic crisis is devastating, affecting not just the national economy, but also local businesses. As anyone with a basic understanding of economics knows, a falling currency leads to inflation, causing the price of imported goods and services to skyrocket. With Turkey relying heavily on imports, the weakened lira means higher costs for everyday necessities such as fuel, materials, and technology. The alarming rise in inflation in Turkey has been devastating for businesses and consumers alike. Shockingly, Turkey now has one of the highest inflation rates among all the countries in the world, and things are only getting worse. Despite a brief respite, inflation has continued to climb to record highs of 85.5%, according to official figures, and independent analysis like those at ENAG estimate the actual rate to be a staggering 176%. It's impossible to deny the impact of skyrocketing food prices, which reflect the harsh reality on the ground. The root of the problem lies in Erdogan's policies, which have created an environment that stifles growth and prosperity. Businesses are struggling to survive, leading to a standstill in the economy, and the cycle continues with new policies that fail to address the core issues. Sectors like construction, real estate, and energy have borne the brunt of the weak lira, with banks also feeling the pain. 
The economic crisis in Turkey has wreaked havoc on large corporations, resulting in losses in the billions per quarter. Turk Telecom, a major telecoms group, is just one example of the many businesses that have been hit hard by this currency crisis. But it's not just the companies that are suffering. The employees who work for these corporations are feeling the effects too. The brain drain that Turkey has experienced in recent years is a testament to this. Brain drain is a term used to describe the situation where highly skilled or talented people leave their own country to work or study in another country, which results in a loss of valuable resources for their home country. In simpler words, it means the emigration of talented and educated people from one country to another, leaving behind a shortage of skilled labor in their home country. It's not hard to see why people are leaving. In a localized poll, the majority of respondents cited Erdogan's political and economic policies as the reason for their departure. Life in Turkey has become hard and unpredictable, and many young, skilled workers are looking for opportunities elsewhere. The ramifications of this brain drain are severe and long-lasting. Turkey's economy stands to lose out on the jobs and businesses these individuals could have created. At a time when the nation is already struggling, losing human resources is the last thing it needs. Perhaps you've wondered why officials and regulators aren't taking action. The truth is, they are seeing what's happening, but the real issue lies with President Erdogan. Just look at the recent firing of three monetary policymakers who were wary of cutting interest rates. While no official reason was given, it's clear that Erdogan's frustration with the central bank for keeping its benchmark rate at 24% played a significant role. It's not a matter of blindness to the problem, but rather a centralization of power that puts the fate of the economy in the hands of one leader. So you might be wondering about the factors that have led to the current dire situation in Turkey's economy. Let me explain. It all started with Turkey taking several risky gambles to achieve rapid growth, and while those gambles worked for a time, they eventually backfired, leading to the country's current economic crisis. One of the key reasons for this is Turkey's long-standing current account deficit, where the country's imports were far greater than its exports. This deficit left Turkey exposed to the risk of currency devaluation, which is exactly what happened when the value of the Turkish lira plummeted due to a small hiccup. This triggered a wave of inflation, which has only worsened with time. But what's at stake here is not just Turkey's economy. The global economy is also at risk, as Turkey is one of the top 20 largest economies in the world. The country's economic woes have already sent ripple effects throughout financial markets, and there's a real possibility of a global recession if Turkey's crisis worsens. This is why it's crucial for Turkey to take drastic measures to turn things around. Inflation is a tricky beast, but it can be tamed with the right measures. We saw it here in the U.S. when interest rates were raised to tackle inflation, which had reached an alarming 7%. The move reduced economic activity, allowing the economy to cool off and stabilize. It was a bold move, but a necessary one. So why can't Turkey do the same? Well, the short and long answer is that they can, but they won't. Instead of taking decisive action, Turkey has gone in the opposite direction by lowering interest rates even further. This reckless move has caused the economy to spiral out of control, with hyperinflation and bankruptcy looming on the horizon. It's understandable that many find it hard to wrap their heads around this approach. With hyperinflation and bankruptcy looming, Erdogan continues to advocate for lower interest rates. However, before we rush to judgment, we must consider the religious foundation of his ideology. As a deeply religious Muslim who attended religious vocational schools, Erdogan leads with his faith in mind. However, his views on monetary matters are a cause for concern. He believes that lending money at interest is a sin, which explains his continuous push for lower interest rates. It's a baffling perspective that leaves financial experts scratching their heads. But here's the kicker. Erdogan's low interest rate policies are favored by real estate companies who have been large backers of his AKP party. It's a clear conflict of interest that undermines the country's economic stability. Instead of implementing sound economic policies that promote growth and stability, Erdogan is more concerned with appeasing his political supporters. The current situation is due to a dangerous mix of religious and political motivations that consistently keep interest rates low. This has resulted in several governors losing their jobs for opposing the current Erdogan. Unfortunately, the Central Bank of Turkey is not independent of the government, which means that all economic policies are subject to the whims of the current administration. 
This approach is unsustainable and has resulted in the collapse of the Turkish economy, with governor after governor resigning from their posts. This is why it is essential to have checks and balances in any functioning democracy. However, the centralization of power in the hands of the current Turkish administration has created chaos and uncertainty in the economy. If Turkey is going to recover, it needs a drastic shift in its current approach. The upcoming elections in Turkey may provide some hope for the Turkish population as the masses have expressed their displeasure with the current administration. The president has already taken underhanded tactics against political rivals and arrested the mayor of Istanbul under false allegations of insulting officials and drafting controversial media laws that criminalize disinformation. The president is clearly feeling the pressure of a potential upset in the upcoming election. While the future is uncertain, Turkey is one of the top 20 largest economies in the world, and its collapse would have global repercussions. Thank you for watching this video on Turkey's economic crisis. As we've seen, the country is facing significant challenges with hyperinflation, bankruptcy, and political turmoil. The question remains, what will it take for Turkey to bounce back from this crisis? We'd love to hear your opinions and thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest economic news and analysis.